Today, we're going to start putting out some uh, okay, on the instructional beat. drill <laughs> on how to play proper defensive back. <laughs> we're going to go over press man on how we've done it at Raw Talent. <laughs> Little tips that you guys can use to uh, take your game to the next level. All right, so this particular drill, uh, we're going to work on hip fluidity. Most guys are not as coordinated. They can be stiff in the hips, and that can really slow down and change the direction. So you really want to work on hip fluidity, and one of the ways that we're going to do that is what we call chop it up. So when we buzz my feet to the left, buzz my feet to the right, buzz my feet to the left. We're scraping across, quick feet shuffles. And so we're gonna push, we're gonna slide. And we're gonna do that um, just to work on quickness um, and agility, going lateral movement. And the emphasis is to push off the big toe and not let our ankles cross. Very simple. We're just gonna weave through these cones, over and under through the cone. It's very important that you guys pay attention to the detail. I see guys do this drill the wrong way, or the way that we don't always try to execute it. Sometimes you see guys do a pivot and out and pivot and out. That's not what I'm looking for. I want to see the feet flowing throughout the cones, weaving through the cones. So it's quick feet up, quick feet back, quick feet up. Playing defensive back, playing press coverage. Uh, a lot of times you're seeing these defensive back gurus, uh, they're having these guys shoot two hands and they're making such an emphasis on, that hand, on the hands, I don't really see them break down the feet. And that could be just how they shoot their drills. But I think if we're gonna shoot drills, talking about press coverage, I think we need to be talking about the correct way. So the first thing we wanna work on is the slide the initial generic slide, and then the slide at 45 degree angles, which is gonna be real, more realistic for uh, what's gonna happen when a receiver So the first thing we're gonna work on is this six feet. You get two cones, and you literally do six feet, all right? Just as if you was a basketball player playing defense, two good slides, six feet, should be able to make um, uh, a receiver, or if you're playing basketball, to make the uh, ball handler go longer into a route versus cutting you off at a straight angle. And so what we're gonna work on is 10 slides. Slide to cone and back to the cone. This is very crucial. This gets left out of defensive back play. Major, that's you? Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and be a little more realistic with this drill. Open the, the angle up a little bit more because the receiver is gonna try and get the field. So we wanna make sure that uh, we are trying to show a realistic motion that's gonna happen on the football field. So playing press coverage, we're gonna push and slide. I'm not really using my hands right now, I'm just focusing on my feet. And I'm gonna slide and open the angle. Get to the cone, and you wanna get your toe to the cone, and you wanna come right back to the initial square stance position. All right, so if I was in the game, it's gonna be boom, right here, right here, and boom, and get it back. All right, we'll do 10 motions just like that. We'll go five to the left, then we'll switch and go five to the right. What we're gonna work on now with the defensive back, we talked about the footwork, that's key. Being able to stay in front of the man um, is gonna service you far more than you just shooting your hands, okay? So we're gonna work this in stages. So now we're gonna shoot the hands and we're shooting their hands. I like to get um, anything that's stationary for the defensive backs that can strap a resistance bands to. 
Um, I like to go backpack style, but you can also go single and have a longer version. You'll see that in this drill as well. Major, that's you? So what we're going to work on is punching the receiver and sliding our feet at the same time. And if you can get two punches in, that'd be good. But really all I need is that first initial jam. So when I do it, I'm going to punch and slide and get back. So now, once again, we're training, we're over-exaggerating. You want to anchor down, whether you have somebody hoisting it or you have another contraption that's stationary that can um, hold the band because you don't want that band to release for this drill to be functional, for this drill to be accurate. So what's going to happen, Jalen is playing press corner and he's going to shoot his hand. So now he's being asked to shoot through resistance with his hands and also with the bands um, making him push laterally with his feet. So make sure your toe is aligned with that cone. Other toe, so your left toe, yep. Yep, we're gonna work that motion. We really want you to, and the reason why I got him, I want him to go the whole six feet. So I want that left toe to be aligned with the cone and that right foot to be aligned with this cone when he finishes. That means he's gonna have to really scoot those feet to get over to make sure that the receiver gets a wide release and that throws off the timing for the QB. That creates timing for the defensive end and linebackers and everybody to do what they have to do. YouTube page. Make sure you go to Raw Talent U um, recruiting uh, page and you'll have a lot of videos of uh, defensive back drills uh, that will take your game to the next, le next level. Drills that's going to help you elevate your game to the next level. Some of the same things I've done with my high level college guys and NFL guys uh, we're going to give to you. So make sure you subscribe to the Raw Talent U page and you'll get all these videos and some more stuff, personal materials. We're going to put a lot of stuff in here, conversations, things that you want to hear from college players pro players and guys who are high school level at the high level, um, you, you'll get that stuff on this one time. That's you? you.